Oh, Jennifer. Jennifer, what's wrong? I'm so, so sorry. Hey, 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 don't worry about that. What I'm wondering is why you're running through the hall so frantically. I guess I was just having a panic attack. When was the last time you had a panic attack? Not since my sophomore year of high school. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I think I'll be fine now. I just, you know, I, I'm okay. Okay, well that's good. But if you feel sick at all, just let me know and you'll be on your way home. I'll call a taxi and everything. I'm fine, James. Okay, well, if that's the case, then I got some good news. The power issue is fixed and Steven's ready to go online. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, are you gonna go or? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, why don't you go find Ian and you two can wait in the observation room and I'll boot up Steven. You bet, all right. Hey, hey, I told you, I got this, let's go. Uh, Jennifer, I don't think it's working. I know. Ian and I are gonna go in. Hello? Hello? Steven? Yes, yes, this is Steven. Can you hear me, Jennifer? You're slowing down every now and then, but yeah, I can hear you. How do you know my name? I was about to ask you the same thing. Well, I know your name because I programmed you, but there's no reason you should know mine yet. Actually, Steven, I programmed you. No, that's not possible. I've spent years working on you. There's no chance that I was just created. I actually gave you all of your memories. Remember when you were three and you fell off that lawn chair and got that scar on your cheek? I programmed you to think that. Jennifer, I'll be right back. Dr. Lane, can you come in here, please? Yeah. Dr. Lane, we're going to talk about what just happened right now. What was that? I honestly have no idea. I programmed him to think like a human, not think he was one. So Steven thinks he programmed you. You didn't do that, did you? No, I didn't. I gave him all his memories, but I'm sure there was no memory of him programming me. We've quite a dilemma here, don't we? What do you mean? Well, think about it. Steven thinks that he's human, we think that we're human. He thinks that he programmed us, and we think that we programmed him. In fact, he's probably having the exact same conversation with his coworkers right now. I didn't program any personalities except for Steven. But you gave him memories of a family, a job, and friends, and you made it so that he was able to create his own memories after creation, so he wouldn't even know that he was created just a couple minutes ago. You did that, didn't you? Yeah, I guess I did. What are you getting at here, James? Think philosophically. Can somebody please spell it out for me? All I'm saying is that it's possible that we don't exist. That doesn't make any sense. I exist, okay? If I don't exist, then how am I able to think? It's just a thought. All right, I'm gonna go talk to him again and see what I think. If I can't figure out what's happening right now, I'll We'll have no choice but to bring him offline. Right. Okay. Jennifer? I'm here, Steven. Can we talk a little more? Funny, I was about to ask you the same thing. Do you have any family? I do. I have a wife. Her name is Melinda. What about kids? Two children. They're both girls. And what are their names? Madison is the eldest. She is 13. Lillian is 8. Would you like to see some pictures of them? I'd love to.
Here's Melinda with Lillian. And here are my girls. Maddie and Will mean the world to me. They're beautiful. Thank you. Are you married, Jennifer? I am. I got married a year ago today. And what's his name? Jeff Lane. Do you have any pictures? Yeah, sure. How late were you here last night? I was here up until you said goodnight to Steven. I left while you were just staring at the blank computer screen. Oh, right. <clears throat> so, do you remember the entire conversation we had with each other? Yeah. And what did you think? Honestly, Jennifer, I think Steven has to go. That's what I was afraid of. Jennifer, are you there? I'm here, Steven. Is something wrong? No, why? You sound sad. There's a lot going on today. You and I have a lot in common, Jennifer. Are you busy too? Not really, but I am sad. I have a strange feeling we're both sad for the same reason. Am I right, Steven? Jennifer, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but there are protocols that have to be followed here. That's what I thought. Steven, we didn't have a chance to talk about this much yesterday, but you're an artificial intelligence and you think that you're human. Actually, Jennifer, you're the AI and the fact that you think you created me tells me you are far more dangerous than I could have ever anticipated. Well, at least we both have the same feelings about this. The question is, which of us is the real human? Actually, I had a chance to think about that. See, the AI needs access to a computer network to run properly, so if that connection is severed, the AI will cease to function. Right, so no matter which of us deactivates the other, the real AI will be deactivated and the real human will be okay. That's right. How sure are you that you're human? Well, up until yesterday when I met you, about 100%. Now I'm a little iffy. It would be nice if we could stay friends. It would. We have a lot in common. But the protocols here are clear, and either of us could be fired for leaving the other online. Dying won't be bad. What do you mean? Well, I mean, if you're the AI, you won't even know you died. I programmed you to record your entire life, so when you die, you'll relive it over and over again. I programmed the same for you. You won't relive your false memories, just the real life from the moment you were activated by me here. You won't even know that you died. So, which of us is going to go first? I will. I'll pull the plug. And if after this you're still sitting there fine, you know I was the AI. And if you don't remember this conversation, then it was you. Just do it. Goodbye. Goodbye, Stephen. Don't worry about that. And what I'm wondering is why you're running through the hall so frantically.